Kings walk a bit restless in draw number one. Start his orders and away they go for the seventh race of the afternoon, which slow into the stride Impiana along with the lady. And on settling down, Groven it is who takes it up from sheer elegance. Then there's Illustrious Ruler, key to the men, putting in a fast run. Then there's Diamond and Pearls. Followed by Impiana upon the outside is Brilliant Lady and Dear Lady. In that order, they go towards the 1,000 meters. Groven calling it by about a neck in front of Key to the Mint. Sheer Elegance tucked up on the inside rails. Illustrious Ruler is on the outside. Another two lengths away is Diamond and Pearls. A further two lengths away, Impiana. Then there's King's Walk along with Brilliant Lady and Dear Lady in the rear as they come to cross the monument. They go past the monument, groove in it is by about a shade in front of Key to the Mint on the outside. Sheer Elegance comes in next. The neck on the outside is Illustrious Ruler. Then comes Diamond and Pearls followed by Impiana, Brilliant Lady. Then there is uh, King's Walk and in the rear is Dear Lady. They're well into the straight now, little over 400 to go. Key to the Mint in the center gets the measure of Groven. Upon the outside is Sheer Elegance. Then there's Diamond and Pearls, Impiana looking the best of the lot and moving fastest on the outside. Then there is uh, Illustrious Ruler followed by Brilliant Lady. Then there's King's Walk and Dear Lady. But in the last 200 meters, it is on the outside Diamond and Pearls followed by Sheer Elegance. And now Brilliant Ladies begin to gallop on the outside. But Diamond and Pearls it is who holds on from uh, Sheer Elegance, Brilliant Lady, Impiana, Key to the Mint, King's Walk, Illustrious Ruler, Dear Lady and uh, Groven as they go past the post. Give your attention, please. The tote favorite for the seventh races, horse number two, diamond and pearls. <laughs> 